Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to pot up this veggie box table garden. Uh, so finally I got some seeds for it and uh, we're going to grow, um, let me put this down. We're going to grow some, um, some chamomile, chamomile, can't get my words out, uh, some rosemary and some coleus. Hopefully, hopefully they grow well. Um, tis not the season to buy seeds, it seems. Uh, it's harder to find seeds, and when you do find seeds, the selection is terrible. So, uh, <laughs> I, there was a lot of bigger things that I thought, ooh, that would be fun to grow, but then, uh, this, this light garden only is about 10 or 11 inches to, I guess, 11 inches tall, two from the, from the base to the light. So, you can move the, uh, the light up and down, but I don't want to grow something that grows 24 inches tall, uh, because I don't want to have to grow my light like this. Um, anyway, it's just a personal preference. Uh, you can grow things that are, that are taller in here, but, uh, I want to stay short. So, chamomile, coleus, and rosemary. <laughs> they can all be kept pruned. So, uh, so yeah. Let's get to it. What we need to do, I was looking at the instruction manual, uh, leafing through. It says that I should use some filtered water. We've got, let me, uh, let me move this uh, out of the way. You don't need to see that part of it just yet, because uh, you know what it looks like. Uh, so anyway, we've got the, uh, the tray here that came with the system, and uh, we got some sponges. I got 18 sponges total. Just going to break these all apart, so they're all individual. I have nine holes, so I'm going to do nine seed. Uh, spots. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna do. Let's do eight. Uh, the reason why I'm doing eight. Let me just remove these down. The reason why I'm doing eight is because I have nine actual plugs. I'm gonna keep this one as a little water fill reservoir. I don't want to have to worry about pulling a plant out and dragging the roots out and uh, just to put water in. So I'm gonna use personal preference. I'm gonna put a little plug in there. Um, to stop the, the light from going in, but that's going to be where I solely put water in. So technically, I will only have space for eight seedlings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So again, personal preference, I could grow nine if I wanted to, but sometimes it's good to have a little bit of space between your plants. So actually, we'll see what, what sprouts, and uh, I might end up uh, uh, putting a few less in there. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I will start with eight little pieces of foam. And I'm right off camera. <laughs> right on brand, Bill. Right on brand. Don't pay attention to what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, so they recommend using filtered water. So I actually got some uh, water from my zero, zero filter. Uh, takes out all of the uh, total dissolved solids. Just going to fill this up. We're going to saturate the sponges Whoop. as they get water everywhere. Maybe I shouldn't have filled it up so much right off the bat. So we just want to get the air out of the sponges. Not that it matters because they're going to float to the top anyway. We just want to get them nice and moisturized. So I got this out of the fridge. So, <laughs> Bill, Bill, <laughs> why do you do that to yourself? I got it out of the fridge, so the water's going to be cold, so um, most things it won't matter, uh, but if you're trying to do something a little bit more tropical, maybe try to let the water warm up a little bit. <laughs> uh, some plants don't like cold, cold water. I'm spilling all over the place. Let me get a paper towel and clean my mess up. And you get to look at it. Look at that. It's growing up nicely. So we're going to... Let's start, I think these are going to be the tinier seeds. Let's do the chamomile seeds. I really look forward to uh, trying to grow some, some chamomile for uh, chamomile tea. I will put these outside in the spring. I want to grow some in the garden. Probably off to the side of the house. Oh, look at the seeds. They're tiny in there. Um, so they gave us tweezers. The tweezers are to plant the seeds. Uh, but uh, I can't pick those up. So. Um, what does it say? Okay, so th with this seed, it says three millimeters deep. Um, I don't have three millimeters to go deep with this. So, <laughs> um, and I have one, two, three, why am I counting them? I have eight. <laughs> so I'm just going to pour a few seeds in my, in my hand. Um, I don't need that many. 
Um, it says to plant them three millimeters deep, but I don't have three millimeters. I'm just putting a bunch of uh, seeds in there. I'm going to do two things of chamomile. I'm going to do a few more of coleus because I love coleus. Coleus, it says to sow them. Doesn't say how deep to sow them. <laughs> These seed packets. Uh, doesn't say how deep to sow them. So I'm just going to just going to put them. Well, I I can't put them deep deep anyway. Why am I looking at the depth? <laughs> so after you put the seeds in here, if you want to fast forward the video through me uh, doing this stuff. Um, we're going to put these seeds in a dark a, a dark uh, location as they sprout. So it doesn't really matter what the depth is, they're going to be in a dark location. Hopefully I don't forget about them. <laughs> Usually dark location means a uh, spot that Bill can't see. Alright. So now we've got more tiny little seeds. I'm going to put a few seeds in there. I'm putting two or three seeds, maybe four seeds. Perhaps 400 seeds. I can't really tell. Just pinching them. So I'm going to do three, three spots of coleus. I just put the leftover coleus seeds in the chamomile. So there's going to be a surprise when I plant these in the spring. <laughs> Such an idiot. Such an idiot. <laughs> All right. Next, we're going to do some rosemary. I love rosemary. Um, so all of these seeds don't don't require any any uh, any cold treatment or anything like that. Actually, a cold treatment would be good with this because you would just uh, uh, sow it and then put it in the fridge. That's its dark place. So that would be that would be nice. But these aren't cold treatment, so we're just going to plant them as normal. So this rosemary, this rosemary, uh, I'm just going to do three cells of the rosemary. I've never grown rosemary from seed. Which will be exciting. Who doesn't love rosemary? Uh, even if you don't like the taste of rosemary, the smell of rosemary is so good. Okay. So, we've got three little spots here. It's going to be a really long video. <laughs> Alright. We've got a couple of seeds of each in each pot, or each little... Uh, little soil thing. Why do I call it soil thing? I'm gonna dump some of the water out. The seeds were floating. That's why I'm dumping out some more water. I want the water to be just just kinda of below the seed level because I don't want the seeds to rot. So I'm watching where the level is. Removing a little bit of water at a time. I think that's perfect. They're resting on the foam and not in the water. The foam is going to, to bring up the water and, uh, and make sure that everything stays moisturized. So we're going to put this, it recommends putting these into a dark place for one week. So that could be in a cupboard, that could be in a cardboard box covering it up. It could be just anywhere dark, in a closet, who knows. Um, just remember that, that you need to come and check on it uh, in a week's time. What you want to see is them starting to sprout. Once they start to sprout, we will take them out, and hey, that rhymed, and uh, and then we're going to put them in their little uh, in their little baskets. Everything I have, excuse me, everything I have is in um, this little convenient little baggie. So we'll end up transferring them when they start to sprout into these little pots. So let's come back in a second and uh, see what they're what they're doing. So upon it, uh, further reading in the instruction manual, it says to, uh, to let the, the water go just above the seed. So the water line just above the seed. So I dumped a little bit out. Um, I just added a little bit more to it. So just so you're in, the, uh, you're, you're in the know what I'm doing. And it also says that some seeds will take one day to sprout or start to, to germinate. Others can take up to five days. So you're going to want to look at these each day to see what's going on. And uh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll watch, see what's happening. Um, I'm not going to bring you in each day, but once I start to see things sprouting, we'll, we'll deal with it then. Anyway, let's, uh, let's see it all happen. So it's been about three days, and I've already got some, some chamomile growing. I don't know whether you're able to see... Are they going to come into focus? These two little uh, cubes here, 
Uh, they are sprouting. They're very, very light in color. I want to get these under the lights because they need to start photosynthesizing. <laughs> so uh, the green is very, very pale. Uh, obviously, oh, and there's a little one starting to grow at the edge of this piece of foam as well. So the other ones haven't started growing yet, but we will um, we'll put these into their little immobilizing uh, pots and uh, start up the system. All right, so I'm just going to move this stuff off to the side. There we go. So here we go. I've got two uh, liters of water. Uh, that is for the supplement. I was trying to get instructions. There was no instructions on the the, the ones that came with as a sample. Uh, there's no no dilution uh, amounts. So it says uh, in the instruction manual, average is uh, 10 mil, 10 mil, uh, and each in one liter of water. And this is supposed to the reservoir is supposed to hold two liters of water, I assume. So uh, I've got these ready. So in a few minutes, we're going to do that. But first, let's get these in their little immobilizing pots, <laughs> so they don't float away. Uh, so they have little tweezers here, so I'm just going to go and very gently get in here and move it into its little, little pot, trying not to squeeze out all of the water. Doesn't really matter, because I'll just re-moisten it, just mostly because it's, uh, it's going to make a mess. <laughs> so much water so we need to try to get this um, foam all the way to the bottom of the pot just gonna take a little bit of work not hard it's just uh, you don't want to squish or break any roots that are newly developing there we go and there it is it's all the way to the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and I'll do the same thing with the other one and uh, we'll be right back Alright, so the second one went a lot smoother. I, I have come down each morning to, to double check to make sure if anything sprouted or uh, that it, if it needs more water. Again, just trying to keep the water level just above the seed line. So I think it says about two-thirds of the way up the, uh, the sponge. So, okay, let's move this out of the way. I'll have to try to find another dark spot for these uh, seedlings, or um, seeds. I, I notice I think the coleus are starting to sprout, so those won't be long. Find another dark space for those, like I said. Um, and it was recommended that I, I leave these in the dark until like another set of leaves started to come out, but uh, I don't want to do that. Um, I just want to plant these up. I think light would be really, really good. And they say once you plant them into this, uh, this device, um, we need to watch the water level really, really well. Uh, because you want to make sure that they stay kind of at the same water level. Uh, so I guess that's the, the trick. You want to, before these, once the, the roots develop and they grow down past the, the foam, uh, it'll be much easier to water. But until, until that time, we need to really come down and, and uh, make sure that the water level stays consistent. Okay, so I've got a, a, a measuring cup, a little, um, little shot glass. I'm going to get, let's do... A. I want to do 10 mils of A. Do that up here. Where is my 10 mils? There it is. And it's recommended that when you refill, uh, you use half as much fertilizer. So in, I'm using 10 right now to start the system off because there's going to be residual uh, fertilizer. Uh, in the in the water in the system, uh, you don't want to burn the roots. So go down to five millimeter uh, millimeters milliliters uh, after that for each additional watering. So I'm going to pour that into this one and put the cap back on. Always remember to put the cap back on. All right, and then we got the B. This is the B. Same amount, ten mil, right there. Right there we got 10 mil. It's not very much. We'll just pour it in there. Put the lid back on. I'm just going to stir this up. Make sure it's well combined in with the water. There we go. Then we'll put the A in first. There we go. 
and we'll put the B in next. Supposedly, I don't see one, but supposedly there's a sensor on here to tell you when the uh, when the water level gets lower, uh, and the little power button on the side, uh, this little power button here, will uh, will flash. So it'll it'll flash on and off. So just keep watching that. That's uh, that's actually a good feature. I'm not sure if it actually works, but that's what it says it does. So we're gonna put the lid back on here. As you can see, the light's turned on. And now we're going to place these little plants. These are supposed to be a little shorter, so I'm going to put those right inside here, right on the inside corner. I'm going to use the rest. I'm going to use uh, maybe the, the rosemary is going to go here and the coleus are going to go here because the coleus are going to get taller so I can move the light up and down. Okay, so then we'll put the other one in here. They just rest on top, easy like that. I'm going to cover this hole so that we don't get algae growth. And there we go. All set up. Again, this, uh, this is going to turn on for, I believe it's uh, 14 hours and it's going to be off for 10 hours. I believe that's what it is. So there's no, no noise to it, no nothing. Just going to put this off to the side and we'll come back and see how this does um, in a few days. I'm going to move the light down so that it gets a little bit closer so that they uh, actually do some photosynthesis. Anyway, uh, let's uh, come back to this in a few days and see what's happening. Okay, so it's been a couple of days uh, since the last uh, thing sprouted, since the uh, chamomile sprouted. Now we have the, um, the col I think it's the coleus. Uh, so here are, are you able to see, they're sprouting, these three here I believe are starting to sprout. Uh, so that's, uh, that's happening. So let's put these into their little, uh, little homes. Move this off to the side. So since there's three of those, I got three little pots. I'm just gonna maybe do one with you. Where did I put my tweezers? Okay, so let's do one together. Um, so I got a little good at this. Where are they? Oh, sorry, it's these, these ones here. <laughs> Can you see right here? They're starting to sprout. One, two, three, I believe. Anyway, I will only pull out the ones that are sprouting. So, I just squeeze a little bit, very little, and then I just push, 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 and then I can drag it down the rest of the way like this. It's a lot easier than the very first one I did. Alright, and then I'm going to put, because coleus get a little taller, at least that's what I assume it is, I'm going to put it right off to the side here. And then it's this one. These guys had the slightly smaller seed. I'd be really happy if these are the rosemary. All the way down to the bottom. There we go. The rosemary might just take a little longer. We'll just continue on. If they don't sprout, they don't sprout. Let's start using this machine and uh, see what happens. I'll show you what the, um, what the chamomile are looking like. Just give me a second. <laughs> so we'll move these off to the side again. Remember, we want to make sure that the water level stays uh, constant so that the, uh, the little roots can, can stay hydrated. Uh, once they start to, to grow, I think I'm repeating myself, once they start to grow, you can, um, you can water a little less. You don't have to be like right on the same water level all the time, but always full is best, right? Um, so here, this has been a couple of days. Are you able to see, does it come in here? Do, do, do. I don't think it's going to focus, so we'll do it back down here. Uh, they're, they've greened up. They are looking really healthy. Uh, in the instructions it says to thin them out um, to one plant. I'm not going to do that, not for these. Um, I want a nice little bush. I'm going to be harvesting these plants to try to make some tea out of. Uh, and I'm noticing down at the bottom, it's only been a couple of days, and I don't know whether you're able to see, but there's a little little tiny root hair right right in front of my tweezer. So the root is starting to develop. Uh, we just want to make sure that the water level stays good. This second one, it's the same. There's not as many little plantlets in there, um, but they're growing and there's no little root developments growing out the bottom of this one yet, but it's still really early. 
So we've had a power outage, so I've had to reset the, the uh, time on here. It automatically turns back on, which is good, but uh, it'll reset the, the, the on-off time. So I wanted it to come on early when I, when I wake up, and then it'll turn off before I go to bed kind of deal. Um, so just keep that in mind if you have a power outage. You might want to reset when it comes on and off. So anyway, this is the veggie box table. Uh, we'll watch how it grows. Um, there's not, there's no noise to it, as you can see. Uh, we'll see how it, uh, the plants develop. So far, it's growing just good, just fine. Uh, so, and I love the amount of light that it gives. We talked about in the, we talked about that in the unboxing video. Uh, so yeah, let's just see how it works. Anyway, until the next time, you guys, happy growing. Stay tuned for more updates on this. I'll probably do monthly updates. Um, and hopefully we could do an update when we plant the, uh, the rosemary, if we can plant the rosemary. Fingers crossed.